Friday. You know what that means, Dan? Friday night football tonight. <laughs> and those ladies, I hope they're I hope they're getting paid. Not a chance. No chance they are. This I is how you kick off a weekend. Week 13 of the CFL, starting with the Riders and Tabbies. Brandon Bridge looking to become the first Canadian quarterback in the CFL to win as a starter since 1985. His nickname's Air Canada. Second quarter, Bridge looking to his other weapons. Finds Devin Bailey for the major. Ty Cats. Uh, they've been linked with Johnny Manziel. So Bridge maybe trolling them with the money celebration. 2010 Riders had the break during halftime. The Canadian Football Hall of Fame class of 2017 honored on field. Highlighted by the CFL's all-time leader in receiving yards, G. Roy Simon. Mike O'Shea, the guy doesn't age. Bridge becoming the first Canadian QB to win as a starter in over 30 years. What's it going to take to convince people? Do you think this starts it that a Canadian quarterback can progress, develop, and win in this league? Appreciate it. Winning. Uh, obviously, you have to go out here and win and show that we can do it. And like, I already know that Canada can definitely do it. You know, I mean, I've seen a lot of kids whenever I've grown up, and I know a lot of kids have that aspiration of, of playing in like the CFL, playing professional football. We just got to keep on working. And I'm, I'm trying to op open up that door for them. I'm really trying to op open up that door for so them for it's an easier path. I'm really trying to set that first stone so it can be an easier walkway for them. Air Canada, also a much better nickname than Ward Air. Ward, Ward Air was nice. Yeah, he, he had full meals and I thought, the babies got drinks. <laughs> Hey, it's Melon and Friday. Welcome to the show. Hey, this is fantastic. We are not going to try at all. You got to check out our uh, Instagram account. It's uh, at Chain it? Down. Danny's right over here, our social media guy. He's uh, he understands all that stuff. Very. He's wearing very tight fitting jeans. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Um, Dan, the Cleveland Indians just four wins away from the Major League record for victories in a row. 22 in a row, and they were hosting the Kansas City Royals. Uh, they were only, I mentioned, they were only four away. Look at all these terrific bear heads. Second longest streak in Major League history is over at 22. In Minnesota, also a very special night. No win streak to speak of, but what if I told you they had free shirts for a very special man who goes by a very special name? Neville Longbottom. Correction, Big Sexy. It is big, sexy, and even dedicated to the 20-year-old Husky vet, Bartolo Colon. How about that? the entire pitching staff gathering to watch him warm up? This is the part that really got me. Only fans who purchase special ticket packages got those shirts. That's garbage. Who cares? Jay Spoil Colon's A little big love segue there. Uh, the Dodgers. I feel like I, on, on camps now I can just drink Tim Hortons. Well, they paid for it, so. The Dodgers, who even in late August were on pace to challenge the all-time wins record, are now in danger of losing home field advantage throughout the National League playoffs. Going into their weekend series Friday, LA's lead atop Washington atop the senior circuit was down to five games. Television program. Uh, let's go camping. Everyone gathered around the campfire. Who are they looking at? Who's telling the story? Is it you, Dan? I refuse to go camping. Eric Carlson, weird that you would wear a fedora camping. Ryan Strom, on a line with Connor McDavid and Patrick Maroon Friday at Oilers camp. Uh, been a victim of uh, low blow. Ever wanted revenge? Dan and I can help. That's next. Sports Center with Jamie. Feel bad for Obi. Uh, someone sent me a message on social media. Said my uh, tie was hideous. Uh, is, it, is it really bad? Let's get a close-up shot of it. Oh yeah, it's really wide. I'm waiting for new ties. Don't know when they're coming. No, but the wide ties are back, man. We're talking wide tie. Ben Mulrooney told us so. Hey, I don't know if you saw this. Ahead of a uh, WBO title fight in London this weekend. Yes, yes, go on. Billy Joe Saunders brings his son on stage for his weigh-in with his opponent, Willie Monroe Jr. After Monroe playfully ruffled Saunders' son Stevie's hair, uh, Stevie, he, he punches the guy in the testicles, then flips him off. <laughs> okay, so the one part I agree with here, my grandfather had a saying, never touch a man's hat or his hair. <laughs> 
kid's great. You can't touch someone's hair. He's like a young Joe Pesci, and his hair slicked back. He was just asking for it to be messed up. And I'll say this, Dan, if Willie Monroe Jr. is looking for nonviolent retribution, we can help. Have you been a victim of a vicious punch to the groin? Are unexpected low blows preventing you from looking tough? Don't be someone else's punching bag. Unclench your fist and call the double attorneys at 555-699-7216. That's 555-OWPAIN. Being assaulted in the lower belt area could entitle you to a huge cash settlement. Call now if you've received a stink dummy, crotch shot, wiener wallop, snake strike, peen pound, nut knock, speed bagging of two speed bags with one punch, and the dreaded junk punk. The double O attorneys are here to tattle for you. Call now. <laughs> uh, dink. <laughs> In response to Shea Weber's video where he races a horse, mm. uh, Chikudumi's QMJHL team pitted a player against a chihuahua in a race. What chance does a three pound purse dog have against a major junior hockey player? Well, uh, it was a photo finish. Hmm. That looked very staged. When did Taco Bell get rid of the Chihuahua? Yeah, and why did they? Why would you? Probably because the Chihuahua died. That's why we got rid of Maggie the Macaque. No, Maggie's still. Still alive? They, they closed that zoo. Ah, so where did she go? They just let her loose. James Duffy's backyard. <laughs> uh, whenever I see a uh, carpet on the ice, I always think of Mark Donnelly, remember? Oh, this is. Can we uh, watch that for the whole show? That should, this whole show should have just been that on so a loop. So when the CRTC says, no, you guys have to work, we're just airing that the whole Donnelly show. Donnelly on a loop, falling down. Uh, it is mailing in Friday, and most of our staff's already gone home. <laughs> so we're only left with highlights that they recorded much earlier in the day from overseas. And to cover those moments, we have the World Sports Report. What a weekend it will be. I think I was still wearing that same tie. That's the same tie. We're in Scotland. A badminton world championships women's semifinal. PF Sindhu, Nozomi Okuhar. It's a 73-shot rally, Dan. Two competitors whacked that shuttlecock back and forth for what seemed like an eternity to the astonishment of thousands of badminton fans all across the world. Dan, did you know that badminton got its name in 1873 after the Duke of Beaufort held an exhibition of the game at his country estate that was also named badminton? British Army officers stationed in India learned the game in 1870. It was first introduced in Canada and Vancouver in the late 1890s. Sindhu would win the set, Okuar would win the match and the final, and this has been... The Jay and Dan World Sports Report. Badminton is a sport in which you never think of. You play it, you're like, this is pretty fun. It is. And it's, then once you're finished, you never play it again for 10 totally years. You forget about it. It's true. It is a weird, it's weird that way. What, mm -hmm. what would you compare it to? Like some, some beverage. That Bocce ball. Bocce ball. Another one of those. Another sport. <laughs> or like Dr. Pepper. Like yeah. I never drink it, but then when I drink it, it's like it's delicious. This Monday, it's a split squad game for the ages. Edmonton, Calgary, in Edmonton, and Calgary. At 7, it's Edmonton at home to Calgary in Edmonton. And then at 7, it's Calgary home to Edmonton in Calgary. You'll see Calgary and Calgary and Edmonton and Edmonton from Calgary and Edmonton at 7 and 7. Featuring half of Calgary in Calgary and half of Calgary in Edmonton plus half of Edmonton in Edmonton and half Edmonton in Calgary. Don't miss Calgary's Johnny Goudreau playing for Calgary in Edmonton, Calgary. And Edmonton's Connor McDavid playing for Edmonton in Calgary, Edmonton. That's Calgary, Edmonton, not Edmonton, Calgary. 
and then the next day, it's Blues and Stars. But Monday, it's Calgary Edmonton. Calgary Edmonton in Calgary and Edmonton. Calgary, Calgary, Edmonton, Edmonton, Calgary and Edmonton. 7 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Existential question, but I know this is real. The Jannies are real. Chris Bryant went deep, the Cubby's pen. Breaks into a little dance to celebrate Brian's dinger. Where's Dave Steve? Is he going to slide in? Pirates and Reds, since the ball boy. <laughs> That's that guy. Takes That's the Dave Steve. Dave Steve's son. That's him right there. <laughs> I like the recovery, though. The old stop, drop, and roll. Check our guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Or a rider's touchdown. They went night at the Roxbury. Did that? Does that movie? Does it? Uh, does it hold up? I think it might, but I don't know, Dan. I don't know. The Roxbury was a real club in L.A. The night at the Roxbury is one of those movies. Oh, am I? Uh, sorry, I'm supposed to be uh, doing it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming up, we hear from you, the viewer. It's the Jay and Dan Mountain. And now, a tribute to Glenn. Glenn. Peekaboo, it's Glenn. Our favorite camera operator. This has been a tribute to Glenn. <laughs> Professional good. sports franchises, they've got a long history of fan giveaways. Yes. You usually get like a hat, a shirt. Yeah. Hat, shirt, a bobblehead, maybe a bobblehead. Or a foam finger. How about this one? The Baltimore Ravens, this is real will hand out tens of thousands of free DNA tests to fans on Sunday when they enter the stadium for their home opener against the Browns. Fans can participate in the promotion by swabbing the inside of their cheek and dropping the sample into a bin at the stadium. This reminds me of a Simpsons episode when they said a free boat giveaway to get all the people that they needed to get it. Like, they near, are trying to catch someone here, aren't they? Yeah, this seems... Very uh, suspicious. This seems strange, but I like this way. You and I recently uh, had to give uh, blood and urine samples for life insurance uh, tests. I like the idea of them doing that at a, as a giveaway at one of the professional sporting games. <laughs> right? You go in, they give you a free Baltimore Ravens uh, pee cup, and you pee in front of the nurse who stands in front of you, and then you don't have to go through that whole rigmarole waiting for them to show up at your house. I, I mailed both my samples to you. Vegas, Dan, has the Pats six and a half point favorites with the over-under set at 56, which leads us to... Dan O'Toole, savvy gambler. If you take the under, you're cheering for no fun. The over. This has been Dan O'Toole, savvy gambler. Uh, it's Friday. Got a lot of time to fill with very little staff to do it. So we're asking you to provide us with content. <laughs> it's the Jane Dan mailbag. Here we go. Uh, Blaze Wozniak asks, which food item or condiment do you two miss most while you were down, down south in LA? Down smouth. Down in the smouth. Is I had one today. A maple dip donut from Timmy's. Had one. I misread. The, I thought it. Was, I misread the question. I thought it was what did we miss from down south, and it's In and Out Burger. Oh, I can't wait till they give you and I In and Out franchises. Oh, I thought it was what we missed when we were. Yeah. I think you're right. I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, Josh Chambers asks, what was the most LA thing that you boys had happen to you while you're down south? You and I both starred in an adult film. No. No. That didn't no. happen. No. What happened to you? Is that just Anything? me then? Never mind. Let's move on. Derek Long asks, 
I'm wondering if there's a chance we will ever see a Jay and Dan podcast tour like you've discussed so many times. Dan, I think you should take this one. Uh, yeah, we're going to hop on uh, a train. Can we mention the other sponsor right now, even though we're sitting in the... Can we do that, Tim? Uh, the Coors, yeah, Coors Light Coors Silver Light. Bullet Train. That's the plan. So if, uh, if you're on a... Uh, if you live in a city that's got a train track... We're going to be there. Yeah. So pretty much the whole country. And we're going to be like... Remember the old, uh, how they used to do the elections? They they just do the speaking from the back of the train? Yeah. The, we won't the even get off the train. Barnstorming tours. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll make it happen, Tim. Uh, producer Tim, thank you for clarifying that sponsorship issue. Um, are we supposed this to This segment has gone very, very well. <laughs> Before we get to the top 10 must-see moments of the past week, one last letter from the mailbag. It reads like this, just caught the show. Glad to have you back. Has Jay Onright been cutting his hair with a spoon? Hashtag weird. That was from Pat. And no, Pat, I have not been cutting my hair with a spoon. That is the dumbest thing Jay, I have ever Jay, heard. Jay, and I time to stop living a lie. We both know what happened before the show. <laughs> Again. <laughs> You know what I did miss uh, here in Canada? Coffee crisps. Mm. And those are tasty. Makes a delicious light snack. Yeah, it really does. It's the worst play of the day. Jason Wood, what are you doing in right? What in the world just happened there? You blew it! You! Yeah, you guy. Greatest, greatest logo in team sports. We blew it big time. Yeah, you blew it to where we point out our errors. I said uh, the wrong slogan for the coffee, Chris. It makes a nice light snack, <laughs> not makes a delicious light snack. Uh, also, I forgot to mention I miss Crunchy Bars. Yeah, those are good, too. Those are good, too. A lot of good stuff. And I blew it with my tie. Yeah, I blew it with my hair. Basically, it was a uh, sartorial nightmare. Guess what? Show tonight. We get to try it all over again hey, on Monday. We'll be good again next week. Have a good weekend. Uh, acting. And comedy.